So now I would like to look at three movable bar chords. So we're going to have three shapes that we're going to work with. That's going to be a major, minor and a dominant shape. So first of all, let's start with the major chord and this will be a B major. We're going to have our third finger on the G string on the fourth fret. Our second finger will be on the C string on the third fret. And then finally our first finger will then bar, which is to press on two strings at once. And those two strings are the E and A. So if I play that chord all together, it sounds like this. And that is the first movable bar chord shape we have. The next one is minor. For this one, our third finger will stay where it is, on the G string on the fourth fret. And our first finger will bar string C, E and A on the second fret. That will sound like this. That is a B minor chord. Finally, our last shape, a dominant seventh chord. For this chord, our first finger will bar all four strings on the second fret, whilst our second finger plays the C string on the third fret. And this will be a B7. And that sounds like this. Keep in mind that all of these shapes are movable. So with an A chord, you can hear it is movable. The same rule applies for minor. And then finally, dominant seven. three movable shapes.